Hey what's good guys, it's Zach here with the Android Police. In this video I'll be sharing with you a bunch of neat tips and tricks to help you get the most out of Google Chrome on Android. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first tip is moving the address bar to the bottom of the screen. If you have a tall phone and or smaller hands, you'll find this one super useful. Go ahead and type this right here into your address bar, tap the first menu, then hit enabled. After that, you will have to relaunch Chrome, but once that's done, boom, your address bar is now at the bottom. Next up is the ability to switch between your open tabs faster. Instead of having to tap the tab button towards the top right, you can swipe down from the address bar or better yet, you can swipe left and right to quickly jump to your next and previous open tabs. This is something that I didn't even know about until a little while ago. Tip number three is tapping on a word to search for it. This one here is pretty self-explanatory. Say you're browsing a site and you come across a word you've never seen before, or you just want to get more info on that word. Simply tap the word and you'll get a prompt at the bottom that'll lead you to additional search results. Number four deals with tapping on text as well, only this time you can tap on addresses, phone numbers, and emails to do different things. For example, tapping on a phone number will give you a shortcut to calling that number, tapping an address can take you straight to where that place is on Google Maps, and tapping an email address will give you a shortcut to writing an email to that email address. Tip number five is pretty simple. This one's pulling down to refresh the current page you're on. If you are familiar with most social media apps, this will make you feel right at home. Swiping down to refresh is a super quick way to update the site you're currently viewing as opposed to hitting the three dot menu and tapping refresh. Next up is copying URLs faster. There are a number of different ways to copy the current URL, one of which is to tap the URL so that it's all highlighted, long press and hit copy, and another quick way is to tap the three dot menu, hit the eye icon, and long press the URL there. This method actually ties in perfectly with the next tip, which is long pressing that three dot menu. Long pressing the three dot menu leads to performing certain actions in just one tap. All you have to do is long press and release while covering the option you'd like to choose. Again, this ties in perfectly with copying the current URL. Tip number eight is adding websites to your home screen. Now there are certain sites out there that when a shortcut is created for them, they'll look and feel more like an actual application, and this can easily be seen as the address bar in this one has been hidden. Now beyond this, there are a handful of what they call progressive web applications, and this takes adding websites to your home screens a bit further by adding them to your app drawer, they can push notifications, and more. Additional information on this will be listed down below in the description if you guys would like to check that out. This next tip is useful for those of you that use the find in page search option in Chrome. When searching for a specific word, instead of using the up and down arrows, go ahead and swipe up and down along the reference bar on the right hand side to keep things quick and simple. Next up is the ability to receive Facebook notifications through Chrome. All you have to do is log into Facebook on Chrome, go to account settings, tap notifications, and go ahead and turn them on. There you have it. 11th tip on hand is quickly opening a downloaded file. This here is useful if you find yourself downloading something you've already downloaded before. Instead of having to jump into your file manager, you can go ahead and hit the blue text in the pop-up Chrome gives you when you try to download the same file again, and it'll bring you directly to whatever file it is. Tip number 12 is forcing reader mode. With this, you can adjust when the browser converts into reader mode, so go ahead and type this into your address bar hit the first drop down menu and from here you can select reader mode to be enabled for sites with an article structured markup when the page appears to be an article you can set it to be on all the time or for it to never be on at all nearing the end of the list here we've got the ability to add the home button to chrome so there are some devices out there that do have the home button in chrome not all devices have this unfortunately and this addition is actually up to the manufacturer now you can get the home button on your device as long as it's rooted. Go ahead and check the description for the link to where you can get this, but once you've downloaded the APK, go ahead and create a folder named Chrome Customizations in the app folder under System in your file manager, and after that, you should be good to go. Last tip on hand is downloading pages once you're online. So I'm sure you've had those moments where your internet connection isn't working out too well and accessing specific pages becomes pretty much impossible. Here you have the option to download the page later. So whenever your phone does get a stable connection, Chrome will download that page so that you can view it as an offline copy if you ever happen to go offline again. 
So there you have it, a whole bunch of awesome tips and tricks for using Chrome on Android. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did and you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit that like button. Go ahead and check out the description for a bunch of additional information as well as the full article to the tips and tricks here for Chrome. And go ahead and comment some of your favorite tips and tricks that you found yourself. We'd love to hear your feedback. But anyway, that does it for this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the Android Police channel. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.